Hi, and welcome to our tech center here at Shunk USA. My name is Charlie, and I'm with our stationary work holding group. And today we're going to show you just how easy it can be to automate a machine tool. So with that, we're going to show you some end of arm tooling, uh, some work holding, and really what I'm excited to show you today is, is the fusion of those two worlds. Uh, so with that, let's get right into it. What we're simulating here is a milling machine where you've maybe rolled a robot up to the machine and you're about ready to automate. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this manual vise off of the machine. We've got it clamped down with our quick change system. And I've supplied air, which actually releases the system. So I'm ready to pull this vise off. Because we're here to automate. So I'm going to put a pneumatic vise on the machine. And I'm going to remove that air to, to lock it down into the quick change system. It can be a, a little loud, so uh, watch your ears. And uh, we've got this new uh, pneumatic s uh, solution here on the end that I'm going to uh, plug into. And we'll get into just exactly how this works as we go. So that's everything you need. We are ready to go, ready to automate, and hit play on this robot. So you are just going to give you a wave. So per normal, he reaches to grab and load the part. And here's where we're showing something kind of special today, which is that the end of our tool is actually going to supply air through to that vise and clamp the part. So just like that, we're clamped in that vise, and the door can close, and the machine tool can run. So in the same way, the robot's going to move to unclamp the vise, nudge the part into position, and unload the vise. Unload the vise. So I'm going to show you just how we put this uh, solution together, and we, how we can build it up from the machine table upwards. Um, so if you'll follow me, let's take a look at how we did this. <coughs> 